with this draft class. I'm very happy with it. Especially after seeing some of these draft classes in the past where these players aren't even on the team anymore. So I was very refreshed and satisfied with Joe Douglas's first draft class. Yeah, yeah, I think that it was a great draft, no doubt. Let me shift to this. Let's get to the Jets' record prediction for this year. We got two more topics. So right here, I'm looking at the Jets' schedule. I do think that they're better than the record I'm going to give them. By the way, for for those of you that do not know on the show, starting July 1st, I will give record predictions for all 32 NFL teams, so, so be sure to tune in for that. But, yeah, you get a little bit of a sneak peek for how I'm thinking about the Jets right here. And I think the Jets are, if you just look at the town on their team, they're probably about a seven or six, six anywhere from six to eight wins is realistic based on what happened last year. The only problem is, like you mentioned earlier, this schedule is not doing the Jets any favors. So as a result, I have the Jets only winning five games. Now I'm gonna go through the game by I'm gonna go game by game at Buffalo. That's a loss. I think they're just a better team. It's on the road. 49ers. I mean, you're you're hoping and praying that Makai Becton can block Nick Boza. I mean, he's talented, but good luck. I have the I have the 49ers winning that game at Indy. Just a more well-rounded team than the Jets. Have you losing that game? I'm very high on Denver, and I think that even though you're at home, you're going to lose that game. Now versus Arizona, I'm going to give you the win. I don't think you're going to start out, start out 0 and 5. I do think the Cardinals are a dark horse playoff team, but they're still young. They're about a piece or two away from me being really comfortable saying that. So I be beating the Cardinals. You very well could be the Chargers. I'm not sold on the Chargers this year, but it's on the road. I know there's not going to be very many fans, but when we line up the rosters, the Chargers, they got a better roster, have that as a loss. Buffalo at home. I know I know you get them at home, but I'm high on Buffalo this year. I made an episode a couple days ago saying Buffalo's a dark horse Super Bowl contender. They're just a better team. I'd be winning that game at Kansas City. Let's not talk about that. That's a loss. Patriots. I have that as a win. I'm not too sold on the Patriots this year. I think you you come off off a three-game losing streak. You probably would have gotten blown out by the Chiefs. Usually teams that get blown out, you know, tremendously, you know, the, one week tend to respond the next week. So Patriots is a win. At Miami, that's a loss. But I'd be splitting with them after the bye week and win that game. Vegas at home. I know you beat them last year. But I think Vegas made a lot of you know moves to improve their offense this year. And I think I think they'll just outscore you. So that's a loss at Seattle. Russell Wilson is the best player in football, not named Mahomes. He'll win that game. Then at Rams and Browns at home. I think that's two straight wins. Then at the Patriots. I think that's a loss. So I've only got five wins. I I don't want to be a Jets hater right here, but I just don't see it. What are your thoughts on the schedule? Like I said earlier, it's a brutal schedule. I think the Jets have the have better talent than some people realize. Well, I mentioned earlier they had a top ten defense last year, but they didn't even have CJ. They had CJ Mosley for three quarters healthy last year. That's going to be a tremendous addition to this team. If Le'Veon Bell plays better, that will be huge. And then the corners on the outside. I think they'll be better than they were last year. I mean, they have to be. The offensive line will be better. So the team, I think, has a talent to potentially be a wild card type team. But the schedule doesn't help them at all. I don't think they win more than six games this year. Because they just play a tough schedule. They play the AFC West and the NFC West. The NFC West, well, the NFC West, you said the Cardinals are a dark horse playoff team. But they also had the Seahawks, the 49ers, and the Rams in that division. Who have three of the yeah, those three teams have made it to the Super Bowl in the last few years. So that's a really tough division. They are all potential playoff caliber teams. And then the AFC West, you have the Chiefs, you have the Broncos. Who I agree with you, they're up. They're wild card type team. They're up and coming. I like Drew Locke, and then they got Jerry Judy. Who that that's going to be a beautiful to watch in Mile High this year. The Chargers, I don't, I don't really. Uh, I, I gotta see what Justin Herbert is this season to really know how I feel about the Chargers. But I'm not too high on them either. And then the Raiders, they, they gotta be better this year than they were last year. So 
So those two divisions, having to play those alone, will be rough. Sam Darnold has not beaten Baker Mayfield yet. He's 0-1 against, wow, he didn't play. I forgot he didn't play. That was his uh, game after Mono this year that he didn't play. The Browns kind of have, have had Pep play well versus the Jets, is what you're saying. Yep. And then, uh, well, Baker Mayfield has played well against the Jets. And then, yeah, it's just a, it's a rough schedule. And a lot of those teams got better. I don't really see a team that really got progressively worse. The Browns got better by making it or getting a new coach. And then their draft class, their free agency moves. The Browns should be contending for a wild card spot this year. Again, tough division, but they should be in that running this year. So I I don't see any more than six wins, which I hate to say because, you know, you always want 15-0, Super Bowl, but I just don't see it. And then I see at the end of the year, Gates being fired and then Donald getting his third uh, offensive playbook in his four years, three, four years now. It's pretty crazy, I would say. Yeah, I think that, honestly, the Jets, they could be better. You know, there are some games that you guys could upset some teams. Like, I, I have you losing to the Raiders. You get the Raiders at home, you could win that game. There's some other games like that. But, yeah, I, I just don't see it. And I think that the division, honestly, has gotten a lot better. I didn't even mention about how Adam Gase is going to be vastly outcoached in his division games. I look at Brian Flores, one of the best young coaches in the NFL. I look at Bill Belichick, enough said. I look at what's Sean, McDermott. Sean McDermott. Yeah, Sean McDermott. He's an excellent head coach. So I don't have a lot of hope for the Jets this year. I think that not this year, but next year is where you look to hopefully maybe get some improvement, maybe a new coach for Darno that actually knows what he's doing. So, yeah, that's how I feel about the Jets. That's all the Jets topics we have. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows, or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.